Hey guys, welcome back to ABCs of Life. If you're new here, I'm Betty Awar, a food scientist working as an assistant technologist in Kenya. And this is the channel where we learn to take good care of our health to improve our performance. In this episode, I'm going to share with you three scientifically proven possibilities that are threatening your weight loss efforts. Losing weight is something that most of us struggle with, however much effort we think we are putting in. It is really frustrating when you go to check your numbers, your weight, and you see that it is constant, or the only change you see is towards the positive side. You are gaining more weight. But again, why is weight loss still a problem, yet there are so many videos and adverts on almost all social media platforms promising instant results? Do this in 14 days and you lose significant weight. Take this drink and you'll have a flat tummy, and so on and so forth. What I can tell you is to be careful when you're making your choices. In health, there are no shortcuts. Quick fixes will always cause you more harm than good. The only time we use shortcuts in health is during emergencies. Is weight loss an emergency? Okay, let's begin the video with what you already know. Exercise. Exercise is one of the most important things that you need to get right. For an average person, exercise alone may not help you. This is because exercises that are most effective for weight loss are the hardest ones. Therefore, if you're not a veteran exerciser, you may find it hard to accomplish those exercises and this may hurt your weight loss efforts. But the good news is that you can just do moderate or beginner exercises and combine them with the other tips that I'm yet to provide you with to succeed. However, before we get there, let's see some of the common mistakes that people make with exercise. One, not doing the right exercise. For weight loss, you need to balance between cardio and strength training. Most people prefer cardio because it burns calories, but the fact is, it is actually very difficult to burn enough calories to create a dent in your weight. You need strength training to build more muscles. This is more effective because the more muscles you build, the more fats you burn. Gaining muscles increases metabolism over time. Muscles also have high resting metabolic rate. That means that they burn more calories at rest. Therefore, to lose weight, you should do high intensity interval training or metabolic conditioning exercises. An average person is advised to do two to three days of interval training or weight lifting each week and moderate training the rest of the days. The goal is to alternate high intensity segment with recovery. Enough recovery is very important because it prepares you for the next workout to attain the desired results. The second mistake is doing the same exercise over and over. Our body is conditioned to get used to anything that is routine. Doing the same exercise over and over makes your body to hit a plateau so that there's no more decrease in numbers. When you start your workout journey, especially from a sedentary lifestyle, you'll see your weight decreasing. Then after some time, it will be constant. This is because at the beginning, your body is exposed to something that it is not used to. You need more energy and therefore your body burns more calories to provide you with that energy. But as your body adapts to that situation, it knows that you'll need more energy. So instead of burning the stored energy to protect you, it will slow down your metabolism to release just a little to sustain you through your workout. And that's the reason why you are not losing more weight because it will be minimizing your energy supply. To overcome this, you need to challenge yourself. Push your body out of its comfort zone to avoid that routine. You can do this by increasing the number of sets. If you are doing maybe 20 squats, you can increase to 30, then to 40. You can also increase your weights. If you are lifting 50 kilograms, you can increase to 60 to 70. You can also include a wide range of exercises in your program so that you can alternate between them. So challenge your body, challenge your upper body, lower body, your muscles, yeah. It is important to note that even if you're not working out to lose weight, avoid sedentary lifestyle at all costs. Ensure you are physically active for your organs to perform optimally. The first possibility, you are not getting enough sleep. Studies have shown that losing sleep can affect your metabolism by making you feel hungry even when you are not. How so? Sleep deprivation affects secretion of ghrelin and leptin hormones. 
Ghrelin is a hunger hormone that is secreted by your stomach when it is empty to signal your brain to eat. This hormone increases when your sleep pattern is off balance. It rises in response to acute sleep deprivation and initiates hunger. This makes you to eat even when your body does not need it. This leads to storage of the excess food and that's the reason why you gain weight. It also reduces your metabolic rate. Since it is sending signal to your brain that you are hungry, your body reacts by protecting you, burning less calories to sustain you. Yet, this is a false signal. So you end up eating, your metabolic rate is low, so naturally your body will act by storing the excess food. The other hormone that is affected by sleep is leptin. Leptin is a satiety hormone that controls how full you are. Its levels falls with chronic sleeplessness and this prevents you from feeling full. So you end up overeating and that excess food is stored in your body. You can overcome these imbalances by making sleep your priority. Try to get to bed same time each night and sleep for 8 hours. Bedtime rituals like hot bath, meditation, writing down your worries can help you unwind before bed. Personally what works for me is guided sleep meditation. The second possibility, you are too stressed out. Stress and weight gain go hand in hand. Being under constant stress increases cortisol production. Cortisol is a stress hormone that causes negative effects if you are exposed to it over a long period of time. It can increase appetite for sweet, fatty, salty foods and this can hinder your weight loss efforts because you'll be constantly craving these cheat foods. Cortisol also shifts your metabolism to store more fat, especially around your abdominal region. It does this to protect you because you are constantly under stress. Our body is unable to distinguish between physical and mental stress and therefore it stores this fat to provide energy in the time of flight. Sometimes you may be beating yourself up that you are not doing enough to lose weight, yet it's your hormones that have taken over. So instead, work on managing your stress and deal with mental health. Take a few minutes each day to relax and have a power nap. You can also reduce negative energy around you. Say no to things that you don't want and things that you don't have time for. Cut down your work hours, delegate some activities, try to sleep more and meditate. The third one is diet. Diet is something that you already know, but I saved it for the last because there are some common mistakes that people make that affects their weight loss journey. The first common mistake is drinking artificially sweetened drinks. Do you go for sugar-free zero-calorie drinks to help you cut down your sugar intake? That's where your problem lies. These drinks are actually two-faced. Yes, they help you reduce your sugar intake. But what you are not told is that these artificial sweeteners have an effect in your system. Artificial sweeteners increases your ghrelin levels. And remember we talked about ghrelin hormone. Ghrelin is a hunger hormone that stimulates your appetite and causes increase in food intake and fat storage. So in essence, these drinks makes you to eat more because they stimulate secretion of hunger hormone which increases your appetite. And that results into storage of the excess food in the form of fat. How about sparkling water because water is known to be generally healthy. Carbonation in drinks also have the same effects as artificial sweeteners in your system. They also increase your ghrelin levels. So avoid drinking sparkling water sodas if you are struggling to lose weight. Take plain water, it is actually the best drink when you are on your weight loss journey. Do not use sugar-free flavoring drops in your water. If you want your water flavored, you can infuse it with fresh fruits like lemon or mint. The second mistake, snacking on processed foods. Most processed snacks have artificial sweeteners that affects your ghrelin levels. These chemicals hijack your taste buds so that you get addicted to these foods. Actually, that's what food industry is about. We process food for various reasons, definitely like uh, improving shelf life, for convenience, among others. But the thing that we really measure on because we want to make profit is to hijack your sensory traits so that the moment you taste that food, it hits right and you want to get back to it. That's why you pick a certain flavor of crisps or chevda and you can't stop eating it. You always get back to it and incre it increases your appetite for other foods. It's always better to snack on fresh fruits and vegetables and whenever possible include nuts. 
The third mistake is obsession with calorie counts. When it comes to weight loss, most people become obsessed with counting their calories, yet 90% of those times they don't get it right. This is because they overlook dressings, flavorings, preparation methods, among others. They also forget that physiological state is never constant. Calorie out depends on so many factors that you may never estimate correctly all the time. Counting calories is also daunting and time consuming, especially in this busy world. But again, how did we get here that we serve our food and start counting calories? For heaven's sake, food is fuel to our body and we should have a good relationship with food. So the best way to deal with this is to take more natural foods, ensure that whenever you are eating you have enough protein in your plates because protein takes time to digest. Also ensure that you take foods that are high in fiber, the fruits and vegetables, foods without labels. That means that foods that are not processed and do not have any additives, chemicals, preservatives that are added into them because they won't let you get hungry within a short time. And when your hormones are balanced, when they are not influenced by chemicals your body will automatically operate within the expected ranges you won't worry about overeating unnecessary cravings or addictions here instead of counting calories you can monitor your blood sugar levels because it matters more and it will give you a clear picture you can get a CGM device, especially if you are diabetic or you are so obsessed with your weight so that it can monitor your blood sugar spikes this will help you make better and informed choices with regards to your diet. But even without the CGM device, you can ensure that your blood sugar level is stable by consuming more healthy foods, especially foods that are rich in fiber and uh, having enough protein in your plate. The main culprit when it comes to blood sugar spikes is processed carbohydrates because they are easily digested and therefore they release sugar fast into your blood system and that overwhelms your blood. So those are the common mistakes that people make with diet. But before we finish, I want to share with you another thing that can help you to boost your weight loss journey, fasting. Fasting can also help you to lose weight. You can do the method that has been researched by several people having a 16 hour fasting window and an eight hour eating window. So you push your breakfast late in the morning and take your supper early in the evening you have an eight hour eating window and during this period you ensure that you take balanced diet you don't deprive your body of the essential nutrients that it needs fasting can also fight off the bad bacteria that always calls for sweet fatty foods it starves these bacteria and reduces their population this this video here that i produced on sugar intake that can help you on your weight loss journey you can also watch this video here to help you in maintaining your blood sugar levels you also need to vary your fast because human body will adopt to hormetic stress. Like I said, your body will adopt to anything that is routine because that is how it is meant to work. When you go without food, at the initial stages, it will get to your fat store, burn calories to provide you with energy. But if it is a routine, it gets clever. It knows that there's no food coming, you're fasting, so it needs to reduce metabolism so that it provides you with just little energy to conserve whatever you have. So this is the end of this video. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you've learned things that are going to help you to overcome the hindrances. So ensure that you work on things that are preventing you from losing weight. There are tips that I've given you that you can use.